Did you know that you can create a CRM with Jotform tables? Well, let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and yes, it is true. You can create a fully functioning CRM from within Jotform tables. Anything you can do in a spreadsheet, you can do within Jotform tables. So when it comes to a CRM, I need to get my creative juices flowing. I'm not really sure how I can kind of put all of these pieces together. And the great thing about this is you don't have to have a form to get started with a table. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. I'm gonna jump over from my forms to my tables. Then we're gonna do create a table and I'm gonna use a template. And we can see over on the left-hand side, we have CRM templates and there's lots to choose from. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this small business CRM. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have to work with. Now we can see across the top, we have different tabs. We have contacts, deals, activities, products, and a team. Now all of these in one way or another are connected to each other. So let's see, on this very first contacts tab, we have a different type and I can tell that it is a tag, which means I can click on this tag and I can change it from a customer to a lead and it almost looks like this information is coming from a form. So if I look on the top right hand corner, I can see that it's a form. Let's go ahead and view that form. So we have full name, company and email. Now those are the required fields and we have two fields that are left undone. So what we can do is we can head back over and we can add a column and we can add in an action button. We can do send form. We'll do next, next again. We're gonna choose which form to send. And this one is that lead capture form. So let's go ahead and do next. You're gonna choose their email to send it to. And we can add in a message like, please update your address and your full name. We can do create column. So now from here, we can just do send form and it'll automatically send it to Caitlin for her to update her information. But let's go ahead and jump to that next tab. Let's go ahead and jump over to deals. And here, the very first one we can see, this one is also a tag. It is a deal stage. This is how we can move people through our pipeline. So we can go ahead and move them to the meeting stage. We have their deal value. We have their products. And we can see right up here that this is a connected form or table to products. We see all of our different products here, but we also see the products right up here. And then we have our contact. This is the person that we are in contact with at whatever agency it is that we're working with. Let's go ahead and jump over to our activities. We have the activity type, the contact, the date, we have the representative, and we can also see that this is connected to our team tab. And then we have any notes in regards to this activity. So let's go ahead and jump over to our products. So we see we have the light soft box. We also have the portable folding table and we can add in as many things as we would like to right here. Let's go ahead and say they need the camera set up and that is going to be $200. Perfect, so we can add as many products as we'd like right in here. So let's jump over to our team and we have the name of the people on our team and their position. And this is also a form, top right hand corner. We can see our form, perfect name and position. So if I head back over to deals, I want to know who is in which stage. We can create its own tab for that. So let's go ahead and choose the filter option. And I want to know the deal stage. I wanna know who has had their proposal sent. We can apply that filter and we can see right here that Ethan has had his proposal sent. And we can create a new tab as well. Proposal sent. And we'll see that tab created right up here. We can even do the same thing based on our team members, right? We can have a tab for each team member, like who are they managing throughout the entire process? But let's head over to activities and we can see our representative right here. If we want, we can remove Tommy and we can add someone else. Let's add Katie. We can move things around really easily from within each table. And you know what? We can come over here to team. We can add a new person. And let's say that we are gonna add Jasmine in and Jasmine, we'll say she is also a sales representative. We can head back over to activities. We're gonna go ahead and add Jasmine in on this deal. And the great thing about this is once you bring in this template, it's automatically gonna make all these forms for you. So if I head up to the top, let's jump back to our main dashboard and we can see we have that lead capture form and our team form that was created for us. But again, you can start from scratch on a table and you can add in whatever forms you have and connect and add whatever columns you need to make it your own. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize job form tables as your 
CRM, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.